Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mildra, and I am your gaming monk. So, some of you may recall that way back in the day when I was doing the Monastery Live thing on a weekly basis, I had a little segment called Geek of the Week. This was dedicated to those who did things that were monumentally stupid. Well, while I still maintain the Geek of the Week thing in private conversations, I haven't really done a dedicated thing to anything like that in years. I was tempted to bring that back this week, when this particular thing dropped um, about three days ago at the time of this recording. So Leyline Press, who primarily came to my attention thanks to um, Salvage Union, which I had co which I had talked about in the past, being a somewhat mech adjacent thing powered by Quest. Although, truth be told, I'm not entirely sure how if I put it in the same category as other mech things that I've talked about. Anyway, they put out this little statement. Quote, Dear all, today it has come to our attention that one of our editors on Salvage Union ha is currently working on Lamentations of the Flame Princess and has been involved with other problematic works that have received widespread critique for bigotry and, and other harmful issues. Beyond that, beyond that, they go into a bunch of stuff about how we're so about how we're sorry, we about how we're sorry that we don't su we don't support bigotry. Da 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 da. We're taking the editor's name off of Salvage Union. Um, a phrase that I've been using more and more in the last six months has been unforced error, and that is because that is because. In a lot of these situations where unforced error is applicable, this was something that did not have to be done. This was a mistake that you did not have to make, hence unforced. That is what I get when it comes to this, because for starters, they don't name who the editor is, so we have no clue who it, who it could be. There's also the, there's also the fact that I know this is hard to believe for some who their only tabletop exposure is what is one big corporation, but the majority of the people who work on RPGs these days are freelancers. They'll go and freelancers, as anybody who's done freelance will tell you, cannot afford to be picky. You take what you can get if you want to put food on your table. And the bigger question that I have is if is, um, what was the point of this? <laughs> Nobody would have known that said editor was working on la on a Lamentations project if you didn't bring it up. And while I've had my disagreements with the approach that James Ragai has, especially the cringe fest that was Vaginas Are Magic, yes, that is a real thing, go look it up, go look it up, um... This, is a this wasn't a case of somebody doing something problematic, but just being associated with it. And it's this guilt by association that no medium needs, especially not tabletop. And I think it's quite telling that when I look through the comments, most of the people, and ad admittedly I'm throwing myself into the, into the ring here, did not by any stretch of the imagination uh, support them. So there, was some, there were a few that did, but the majority that I'm seeing didn't. And especially especially given how there's only 26 retweets, 227 quote retweets, um, and 294 likes. Now, as far as whether or not they should have displayed the, displayed the name of the person involved, mm, I guess they did I guess they didn't want to I think they didn't the on some level they didn't want to try and um sabotage some somebody else's career but at the same time you may have sabotaged yourself because let's say that let's say that I work as an editor and I do some work for Leyline at one point which obviously now that this is going down now that I'm slagging them for this it's obviously not going to happen but if I have to use if I can't use that let's use company A so, come so after after that's done, and after and I wor I work for somebody else. A, the people that the people that I work f the per the, if they do this kind of thing, I'm like, well, why would I come back to work for you? And I'm pretty sure other editors would 
are going to be looking at this like, why would I work for you when you could you do this same kind of fuckery to me that you did to these guys? Obviously, it's not known if that's actually going to go, going to go down, but that's a potential thing I could see happening. And I think it's very telling that there have been there have been two thi- there have been two things that have been stated. One, um, a lot of people who pr- who either knew or didn't know about didn't know about um, Leland beforehand have said they're not buying their stuff. And two, there's none... I can't say that there's going to be enough people who are going to buy Salvage Union in solidarity. Somebody asked me if, um, if I had, if I had found out that somebody who had worked with me on the monastery had worked for somebody objectionable af- after, after we had parted ways, and I said, I wouldn't give a shit. It's a jo- it's a job. Go out there and make that fucking bread. <laughs> I've cer- I've certainly worked with people who certain folk find objectionable and like you're not paying my bills. I think the other thing is this whole received widespread prit- critique for bigotry and other harmful issues. Okay, name them. I said this on Twitter the when this thing whole this thing went down. Show me the receipts. If I don't see receipts, how am I supposed to believe you? Am I supposed to go, dude? Trust me. Nobody's gonna do that. Not after all the after all the boys and girls crying wolf over the last ten years. So, when it comes to Leyline, I'm pretty sh- I'm pretty sure I've gotten th- I've got them. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're not gonna be answering my calls anytime soon. Not that I I think I may have messaged them once when the Kickstarter was go when the Kickstarter was live. Um, but I think Leyline should be less focused on the on the quote unquote bad behavior of of one of their former employees, and should be more focused on actually getting Salvage Union out. Because at the time of this recording, the full book, even though it's gone out to backers, is still not on Drive Through RPG. At least at least the last time I checked, and that last update was about ten days ago. So priorities. And I am wor- I am taking steps to try and to try and make my own stuff. At the obviously at the, obviously for the foreseeable future is just going to be a one or two man operation. But I've only ever shit can somebody once, and I had very clear reasons on as to why I shit can them. And, and it wasn't like I shit can them and then did some sort of disassociation. No. No, I just I just said, look, you're just you're not a fit for what I'm trying to do here, so that so we'll part on good terms. Some people can take it well, some people can't. That's just life. I can't say that I I know I, I know some people have equated this to a struggle session. I can't disagree with that. But what I can, what I do see out of this is just from a business perspective, what was the point of this? Apparently, that's a question for this for the great minds in this business because my mind is not great enough for that. So going forward, um, good luck with your next Kickstarter leyline because you're going to have a hell of a lot harder of a time getting eyes on it after this. Um. You don't get a second chance to make a first impression, as the saying goes. Until then, stay frosty.